Hi guys, my name is Sybil and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, I took my GRE exam at home and I thought that before I forgot all of the details of the experience, I would film a video for you guys, kind of walking you guys through the entire procedure of an at-home test day. So whether you're someone who's already decided to take your test at home or someone who is still deciding between test center and testing at home, this video will definitely be helpful for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about before test day. So before test day, you want to make sure that you're going on to the ETS website and looking over all the information and requirements on the GRE at home. So this includes downloading the ETS secure test browser and running a ProctorU equipment check on your laptop or your computer. This essentially makes sure that your laptop or computer is capable of running the ETS test. So make sure you're doing that beforehand. Other than the ProctorU equipment check, I think that there are three important things for you guys to take note of before test day. So the first is your note-taking equipment. So ETS allows you to use either a whiteboard or a transparent sheet with a slip of paper inside along with erasable markers for the test. I actually bought all of these supplies beforehand. I really wanted to test out both the whiteboard and the transparent sheet to see which one I felt more comfortable with before the test. So for the whiteboard, I have this one over here. It's just a really simple, um, piece of whiteboard. It has a magnetic back. I also got a transparent sheet and just put a A4 piece of paper inside it. Um, for me, I felt like this was a more comfortable note-taking device for me. Really depends on you, but yes, these two things. And I also got um, two erasable markers. So pro tip here, make sure you're not only getting one marker, make sure you get multiple because you do not want to be running out of ink on test day. That would be a terrible, terrible experience. So make sure that you are well prepared. Moving on, you have to make sure that your desk is directly facing or across from the door to your room on test day. So the proctor basically wants to see that through your laptop or computer camera, the door to the room is right behind you. And this is just to ensure that there is no cheating, no one is coming in and out of the room. So make sure you're planning this beforehand. Last tip for before the test, it's a very minor detail, but make sure that you're closing all your windows before the exam. So let's say on test day, there happens to be construction um, in front of your window or a bird chirping extremely loudly. This all might affect your test performance. So make sure that you're shutting all of your windows beforehand so that you can prevent this from happening. So now let's talk about what happens on test day. So a few days before your exam, ETS will send you this email with the link that you're going to click on to check in for your exam on test day. And in that email, they talk about how you should be checking in at the latest 12 minutes after your scheduled test time. But pro tip here, um, on my test day, I realized that they opened up check-in um, way before my scheduled test time. I'm not sure the exact amount of minutes. I would say approximately 10 minutes beforehand. So I think that it would be better for you guys to check in earlier than your test time to just make sure that everything is functioning smoothly. And if you have any problems, you're going to have more time to fix that before your exam starts. After I checked in on my test day, I was actually kind of caught by surprise because ETS asked me to download this whole other software called Guardian. And this app basically allowed me to communicate with my proctor. The whole installing procedure went quite smoothly, but it was something I just was not expecting. So I thought that I would let you guys know beforehand that they will be asking you to download this whole other software before you can begin your exam. After your guardian is set up, your proctor will reach out to you via message through the chat box or they will call you. And these are basically the two main ways you can communicate with your proctor. 
So my proctor called me and asked me to do a full tour of the room for him and this is basically to just prevent any cheating or any funny business that could go on during the test. And what they tell you to do is to pick up your laptop and show them all four walls of the room from top to bottom. And I think that the entire like procedure was very meticulously done and they are very careful to make sure that there is nothing in the room that could, you know, allow you to cheat on the test. So here I have a pro tip for you guys. I think that it is better if you can clear out your entire desk before the exam. So on the ETS website, they tell you that you don't have to move your decor around or like plants and things like that. So initially when I started the exam, I had all of those things on my desk, but because your proctor during the exam can change, um, my second proctor actually asked me to move all of the items on my desk um, to the floor. So since different proctors will have different standards, um, it's better to just play it safe and get everything out of the way from the start. So finally, when the proctor sets up your test and it starts running, your GRE exam will go into full screen mode. So you cannot see anything else on your laptop screen. And then they make you take this oath basically saying that you will not cheat and if you have seen the questions on this official exam, you will let the proctor know. So here I have another pro tip. When you start your GRE exam, even though the test is completely in full screen, you can still comfortably change from the GRE tab to the guardian like communication tab with your proctor if you have any questions you want to type out. So I know a lot of students get very anxious about this because they're not sure if they switch from one program to the other, if their tests will, let's say, get invalidated or anything like that. But don't worry, obviously you cannot open like Chrome or the internet um, when you're doing your tests. But if you're just opening up the Guardian chat box to text your proctor, it's, it's not a problem. And now I'm going to share with you guys the two hiccups I encountered during my test at home experience. So the first hiccup I came across was in the last hour of my exam. Out of the blue, my entire GRE exam just shuts down. It just disappears from my screen. And I was so scared in that moment because I didn't know if my answers were saved from before or what was happening. And it was just a very frightening situation. But luckily, my proctor reacted very quickly. He called me and said that it was an accident and he would set up my test again. And luckily, everything I did was still saved on the GRE test. And the timer um, that said how much time I had left on the section was also stopped immediately when the test shut down. So I didn't lose any time whatsoever. So if something like this happens to you as well, keep in mind that the GRE test will save your answers along the way. And when the test does get disconnected, um, the timer will immediately stop so that you don't lose any time on your test. Hiccup number two was in the middle of my exam, the proctor actually called me and told me that he couldn't see my entire face like on the screen. So make sure that before your exam, your camera is positioned at an angle where your face is seen extremely clearly if you want to prevent that interference with your flow on the exam. So finally, you get to the end of your exam and this is where ETS asks you whether you want to report your scores or cancel them. And this is where you feel very nervous and you press down on that report button and see your unofficial scores pop up. And luckily I got my target score for the exam. After you see the score, don't just shut down the program immediately. Make sure to notify your proctor, let them know that you're done with the test and they will ask you to take your note sheet or your whiteboard and just erase all of the notes you have on there to make sure that you have no records of the questions on the official test. And with that, yeah, you're done with the GRE exam. I want to close off this video by sharing with you guys my overall thoughts on the at-home experience. And overall, I do recommend the at-home test. 
I mean, just to be able to use your own equipment, um, take the test in an environment you're comfortable with, you're familiar with, I think it makes all the difference. The entire process was quite smooth and well-structured in my opinion. I know that in the middle I did have a few hiccups, but the proctors were really good about fixing my issues as fast as they could, really efficiently and effectively. And yeah, so overall, definitely recommend. If you're still struggling to decide between taking the test at home or at a test center, I think you can definitely try simulating, you know, the entire at-home experience on your own before um, signing up for the test on the ETS website. So set up your desk the way you would on test day, close all the windows and try to run a full practice test in that environment. Maybe you'll realize that your neighborhood is, you know, more noisy, maybe it's not that suitable for taking the exam, maybe your Wi-Fi is a bit slower. I think that's another um, important aspect to consider when making this decision. But yeah, definitely try it out first and then schedule your test because you can make a more informed decision that way. So that concludes today's video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. And if you have any other questions regarding the GRE at home experience, make sure to comment them down below so that I can get back to you guys. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to see more of that GRE content. And if you're interested to know how I got a 324 on my GRE with just two months of studying, I will have that video linked up in the cards and down in the description box as well. So definitely check it out. With that said, good luck on your GRE exam. I know that studying for this test is such a journey. It's definitely not an easy exam, but just know that the time you're putting in and all of that energy it's stripping out of you, that is just temporary. You will get this test done and over with soon enough. And I hope that you guys can find my videos helpful. And I just want to provide a bit of support for you guys during this journey. Good luck and I will see you guys in the next one.